We recently received a request from a viewer about how to test parsers in the NG model controller. Now here I have a directive and it's called size check and what size check does is it uses the NG model controller which is required and it has a parser that it adds to it. The parser checks to see if the number is an integer. If the number is an integer it does a size check. Size check is based on the attribute assigned to this directive and if it's greater than that size then it's too big. If it's below that size then it's not too big. Validity is true versus validity false and it returns the value. So testing that is kind of the nuance of testing a parser in a directive. So let's check out the spec I've written up here. And I'm actually going to do this by bypassing the scope altogether to just show you how to test the directive interactivity from the user standpoint. So here we have an input with an ng model which is required, amount for trade, and a size check is 10. And we compile it out here and we've got three statements about it. Now the way that ng model controller validation works is if something's invalid it adds a class to the input, right? So the set validity is going to give us an indicator via the inputs class when it is set accordingly. So we can make our statements based on that. So if we were to do l.val, we'll start at 11, and then we trigger an input event on the element. We'll digest on the scope so we can have the angular lifecycle go. And what we should be able to expect is that uh, l.has class and this is going to be ng invalid, which is the standard invalid class that you can expect to be on all invalid uh, angular elements, and then invalid too big, which is the specialized class that's the custom one we added. And then for a number less than 10, we're going to have ng valid, ng valid too big. Of course, we're going to need that number to be less than 10. And for a non-number, we're likewise going to have that, actually, so I'm just going to copy this guy up here. So what we're doing right here is we're actually testing the full feature of the parser by just inputting something into the element, which is going to effectively test how it works. And I'm testing each branch of the parser by the three separate statements here. So let's check that and run our specs. It looks like we have 48 out of 48 success. Let's go for a clean run here. Yep, all tests are passing.